Oh, it's Gardevoir versus Dodrio. Wow, I've never actually seen this deck in action before in a tournament. Gardevoir, really strong deck, does a lot of damage. Not sure what Dodrio wants to do here. Uh, Greninja is in the prizes. That's big deal for Alexander. And it's safe to say we don't need the mana fee, so Jimmy doesn't care about that. Let's go. Um, what an interesting deck. Let's see what happens here with Jimmy. Starts with the Artisan. Strong start here, but does open up Alexander to play the game a little bit more as well. Alexander has a level ball in hand, so I think he's happy. Wow. Wow. Uh, if you're Alexander, you must be stomped here. Not sure what you're looking at. Um, let's see what we see here, Jimmy. Boy, it's... Okay, wow, what a strong start there. I think, is that a Lance? Or is that a boss? I'm not sure. Okay, we draw into an Avery here for Alexander. We do have the level ball, but we, should we use it? We can go for the Artisan. I don't think he ever used the level ball here. Get yourself a Rawls or two. I guess you don't even level ball. Because Iona's not going to save you here, I don't think. Iona helps actually Jimmy much more. I think you just put one Rawls down and that's it, really. And then you level ball the next turn. And I don't know if he has Psychic. Let me look at his hand again. No Psychic energy. Next turn we can the Iona. Oh, so we just level ball this turn. So I think we're going to Iona this turn as well. Makes sense. I mean, we need to see more resources earlier. But hopefully this doesn't hurt us. I mean, I know we run four level ball as Alexander. Gardevoir. So we'll see how this adds up. Iona here coming. Pretty sure. Or Avery. I don't, I don't think it's Avery. Yeah, there's Iona. Even though it helps Jimmy, it actually helps Jimmy because Jimmy only had like three cards in hand. He really didn't need those cards either. What is that? A Kerala? That's a refinement Kerala. We got the energy we need. Oh no, no, I would not even attach right now. But we do have Fox Crystal, so it's okay, we can attach next turn as well. Okay. Wow, looks like we gave Jimmy the nuts. He has a nest ball and all the energy he might need. But he doesn't have a uh, an ultra ball, though. So nest ball is going to be cool to get another one of these uh, fighting Pokemon. One of these Onyxes. Yeah. But not sure if that's enough. Or is he going to get the Dodrio? Gonna go for the Jirachi. Cool. Is this like a stall deck? We'll see what it is. Gonna go for the Iona here potentially. We haven't artisan yet, so we can artisan in a second. Alexander, I don't know, was he mad? Yeah, I think he would be mad. He loses a refinement. He loses a fog crystal as well. I think he should have used it that turn. Get the well. That's a lot of energy. That's really nice. Another ion on hand. That's a mirage step Kerala. He's got everything he needs here. Alexander is in really good shape. Jimmy went for the Dodrio with the great ball. Nice find. Oh my god. The whole thing almost crashed. Wow, I don't know what just happened, guys. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going here. Not sure what, what the plan here is for our friend Jimmy. He does have that Steelix in hand now. He can eat with Onyx. Okay, so this deck does 30 damage for each to each benched Pokemon. That's not bad here. 
We actually kill all the Ralts. What the hell? Oh no, to each of your bench Pokemon. Never mind. The Dodrios get you a draw? Really? That's pretty good. But you hurt yourself so badly here. It's a lot of damage. He's gonna knock out himself completely. But that's nice. That's nice early. Uh, that's actually not that bad attack. Ugh, but it just hurts you so badly. Let's see how he's gonna heal this Jimmy. Alexander here though, he has an amazing hand. Oh wow, he actually throws in all the energies back. I would think he would keep the energies for the refinements and then you go, for, uh, well I guess at this point it's it's done though, so yeah. Okay, more Iono in hand. It's really nice to keep getting Iono, it <laughs> feels really good. Guys, uh, Early Iona's hurt, but late game Iona's honestly didn't uh, they're not that bad. Or or Iona's when your hand is low is amazing. Okay, Alexander just goes for the attack mirage step. Really that's all you want to do here. We draw great ball in and what do we want to find here? What are we looking for? Steelix? Bro, you just did so much damage to your back row. It's crazy. He did 60. I, I don't even know what's going to happen here. How is he going to flip this? Oh, he does have Luxurious Capes. But how does he flip it? That's my question here. Gets that draw by hurting himself. <laughs> This is like the most sadistic deck in the world. It literally beats itself up. Oh, Ballistic Beak is what we're looking for. That makes sense. So we need... We already can KO stuff. <laughs> so we don't even have Steelix anymore. We can just retreat. Is Steelix cheap to retreat? I hope so. He's a big, big Pokemon. But he is a snake, so hopefully he's cheap to retreat. There we are. We get one more draw. That's actually really useful. That Dodrio. What an interesting deck that Steelix, this deck that Jimmy made. What an amazing deck. Wait a minute. He just hurt himself again? Why would he do that? Why wouldn't he just retreat? I guess the retreat costs too heavy. Or he's setting himself up to be more stronger. Dodrio. Wow. Look at the damage counters on Jimmy's board. There's like 300 damage put on his board already. That's crazy. Alright. Alexander has got the nuts here. So he does lose one refinement. Kirilla, which is big. But just drew into the Gardevoir shiny Arcana here. No, that's a Gardevoir EX. No, that is a shiny Arcana. Okay. Gardevoir EX is the shiny Arcana. I'm confused. I don't even remember Gardevoir anymore. The plan here is we got everything we need to kill the Steelix. But once Steelix is dead, how can we put more damage around. I mean, this deck is amazing to go against uh, Sableye. <laughs> okay, we got Ionoid. Honestly, Jimmy looks like he's in a leading position here, guys. It looks like even if we kill the Steelix, it's not going to be enough. Dodrio is going to hit us for 30 times... 1, 30, 60, 90, 120, 
The problem is we can't use Steelix anymore. That's the only issue here for us. We use Steelix too much. We need to get rid of all our Dodrios, then bring back another round of Steelix. There's a chorus. Nice. Bad top deck. There's an energy dump. Pump. Or damage pump. Kicks out the Iono. Cool. So we got Dodri another Dodri active. And now we can hit for 240. KO the Guard Vor. Nice, we did we damage pumped away from the Dodrio. Yeah, Dodrio is uh, pretty much uh, really healthy, so might as well keep him healthier. Nice draw, escape rope, can do much work. Get another Dodrio attack. Seven KOs him, that's one, one, that's seven times three is 210, 210, yep. Okay, we got Alexander. Is it really behind here, guys? Looks like there's no way for him to really catch up. Oh my god, this is Jimmy's deck is actually a really strong counter to his deck because it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does enough damage to just stay in the game. The only way Alexander can play this game right now, he needs to get the Guard of War EX and he needs to stay there. Gardevoir is a little bit limited in the choices of Pokemon they can use. They have to use Psychic Pokemon, so it's easy to read what they want to do. Wow, there's the Cressela. Cressela would be really nice, but we still need the Gardevoir EX as well. Okay, we get the refinement here. Throw out, what is that, an Ultra Ball? We literally throw out an Ultra Ball. Didn't we need the Guard of Oh, there's the Guard of EX at hand, that's why. Okay. Did we super out that refinement back? Or is this just the last refinement we have in the deck? There's the Zishin thrown out. Countercatcher is not going to be useful here, really. We have to go into the Guard Vor EX. We have to. So we're going to go Gardevoir EX with Rare Candy here. And then we're going to go into Cressela. Oh, first we're going to Shiny Arcana, I guess. Get another Rare Candy. Okay, Cressela's cool, man. But we need to go for the Gardevoir. And just stay on the Gardevoir. And don't put too much energy on the Gardevoir. It just needs one, one hit, one knockout. Three energies, all we need. You're, you're gonna be fine. Just put three energies, and if you can find the Moonlit uh, Hill, that would, that would be really nice. Oh my god. I mean, it does make sense here. Get the key on the Dodrio. Leave a one prizer, but this is not enough. I think Jimmy's just too far ahead. No luxurious capes on board, so you really can't catch up anymore. From my trajectory, it looks like Jimmy's gonna be able to get one knockout per turn. He just has 
exactly enough damage necessary. Brings out a Dodrio again. Basic. Chorus again. Wow, he loves these choruses. He's got another Dodrio active now. Those choruses have been amazing in getting energy. This is insane. And if he wants to, he can play down an Onyx. He's gonna get a draw. Damn, that Dodrio is gonna die. One, one, one. <laughs> he just needs one counter. Da damage pumping away the Jirachi into the Dodrio. Makes sense. I mean, that damage pump is not going to do anything. It's not going to change the game in any way. I think we move up the Gardevoir EX. Bro, you need to stop giving him uh, one-turn KOs. Ugh, I know it sucks, but you need to just give him a Gardevoir EX, take hit by it, take hit by, hits by it, and then somehow pick it up again with the tour room. That's the only way you need to do that. You, there's no way for you to play this game other than that. Because that's the only way you can be healthy and survive an attack from him. Because right now he's hitting you almost 300 damage. Let me sit, think about it. He can get to 9 counters. 9 counters. Honestly, if he luxurious skips, he can even go higher. But 9 counters is... 280. 280 doesn't kill the Gardevoir. But damn, clo damn close, especially if he puts any energy on it. Yeah, that KOs you. So at this point, he can't even play with the Gardevoir EX. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, Alexander just lost the game. At this point, I would just scoop and stop wasting time because I'm already behind. Well, there's the Turo. That helps. But it looks like he's going to one, one turn knock you out. You can't even utilize Gardevoir EX anymore. Yeah, Alexander just drew his whole deck and now he's just gonna scoop. This is just thinning out the deck, but I mean, there's no options really. Our options are to either attack with... Uh, oh, well, I mean, I guess we can attack with Screamtail, just not enough. Jimmy looks like... looks so happy. Well, I mean, we're gonna take the Jirachi out here. Which is what we need to do. But Jimmy has two super rods in hand. We're going to hit for 40. We're going to hit for 80. Wait a minute, if Jirachi is not on bench, he doesn't activate? That's crazy. Luxurious Cape right now? Why would you give him Luxurious Cape? Oh my god, now you know why. Because he just gets to do so much more damage. Oh my god, that was crazy. He would have done 300... He needed one more damage counter and he could have found it with a damage pump. That's an insane deck. I can't believe that that Dodrio, Dodrio deck exists. That's amazing job. It's amazing against one prizers. It, it struggles against the Charizard. But it's going to be amazing against one prizers. What just happened? What the hell? I thought they jumped away to another table.
All right, so let's look at the game here. We got two level balls. Damn, and a guard for and two psychic energy. Really bad here for Alexander. Two level balls. That's big. I mean, it's not necessarily big if he finds the Mirage Step in hand somehow. We are starting off strong though. We got the Battle VIP. We're gonna get a Ralts Greninja. No, that's not the right Kerala. That's the Refinement Kerala. Alright, Alexander cannot waste too much time here. He's already behind and there's only 30 minutes left. He needs to do this right now. Is that a Mirage Step Kerala? That's crazy if it is. No, that's a Refinement Kerala. There's two row. Is that a Mirage Step? They, oh my god, he just drew into a Mirage Step Kerala. That's amazing. That's exactly what he needed. That's the only way he can get out of there. That's the Artisan. Artisan helps Alexander... Bigly, bigly. I mean, not anymore. Alexander, unless Alexander has three Kerala's, he doesn't want to go into a Ralts. I think he should have all his Kerala's in the deck. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't price anything. Let's see if Jimmy gets to play the perfect game again. Starting with the Onyx on board. We cannot go to Steelixia, turn one, but we want to potentially retreat it. We're going to Iono here as well. Okay, nice Iono. Really shutting down Alexander. Alexander needed that hand. He really liked that hand. I'm telling you, early Ionas are big. Late game Ionas are not as big, but early Ionas are insane. They changed the game. The problem is when you Iono into an Iono. I don't know why he just did that. Uh, I guess he gets some damage done. Oh, wait a minute. What does that Onyx do? What does the Onyx do? I'm going to go look it up. I'm going to figure it out. How the hell do you spell Onyx? I'm not sure what Onyx he has. Oh, there it is. Flip a coin if has during your opponent next turn. Prevent all damage or effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. Prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. Oh my god. That's insane. He forgot to put 20 damage counters. There should be 20 damage counters on the Cressela. Here it is, guys. Let me show you. Flip a coin during your opponent's next turn. Prevent all damage done. This is amazing. Amazing to hit heads on that. Amazing. I mean, we just won game, I think. That's crazy. The RNG is on Jimmy's side here, guys. That's crazy good. Oh, my God. He's so set up here. Bro, man, dude. Hey, what's up, Justin? <laughs> Bro, man, dude. D Justin Let's go We got four Dodrios Now we got the Jirachi Man amazing board For Jimmy Alexander is going to be struggling here Oh, The one and only for sure What's up brother how are you man Let's see here We need to find the Dodrio or we also need to find a Steelix. I think we just find a Steelix. There's a Steelix and a Dodrio. 
Yo, this is gonna be insane. So we're gonna take a lot of damage. We're gonna take an insane amount of damage, actually. Looks like we're gonna go into a Dodrio. Okay, so we're gonna get two Dodrios now. Bro, Alexander is not gonna be able to win this game. It's almost impossible. This deck is literally countering him completely. So Alexander, because he had to Iono in. Yo, Leaky. Yo, the whole gang is here? He's an imposter. Now he's a fat liar. <laughs> What's up? The whole gang is here. What's up, boys? Nice to see the gang. What's up, boys? Damn, I was just thinking about the old days back, uh, the League of Legends days. I, I don't I don't think you guys are even in Wichita anymore. I'm looking but I can't find the Steelix. <laughs> Alright, so Dodrio's got to draw and put some counters on themselves. Now we can attack with Steelix, put so we're just playing now. Jimmy's just looking for stuff uh, for third Dodrio. I guess Jimmy at this point is just looking for Dodrios. Find the third Dodrio. I mean, I mean, there's no way Alexander can break this. Alexander next turn needs to go immediately counter catch, get that Jirachi out of the game, and hope to God he doesn't find the Super Rod next turn for Jimmy. Somehow by Ion knowing it. We're screwed here, guys, as is, uh, as Alexander. I'm, I'm, we're kind of we're kind of really, really behind. Okay, we, we can never catch up. That's the problem. There's no two prizers until he puts a luxury escape, and he doesn't do that till the final turn. Is this a live stream or a video? It's a, it's a live stream, bro. What the hell? But but okay, they live streamed. They live streamed this today. But we're we're checking out the best matchups. We're checking out the best interesting games. I've never seen this deck before. This, look how much damage he just put on himself. But then he gains from it because the Dodrio does thirty damage per damage counter on itself. So Dodrio and Dodrio gets to draw every time it puts a damage. Like it can put a damage counter on itself and draw. So he can he can basically do insane amounts of damage with that Dodrio in the back end. And he has four of them now. Well, he has three and he's going to get the fourth. I mean, uh, Jimmy's right now got a f perfect setup. The only way he can lose is if he loses the Jirachi on the left end. If you lose that Jirachi, you're, you, you basically lose your whole board because Alexander can start hitting his board. But right now, Alexander cannot hit his board because of that Jirachi. Alexander is looking for Gardevoir, I guess. Yeah, Gardevoir EX. It's not going to be enough. I mean, a Gardevoir EX here is actually good because if we can stay... I mean, uh, the, the thing is, Jimmy hasn't done enough damage on his Dodrios to KO this Gardevoir EX. So we might be able to just stay on Gardevoir EX for a turn or two and then we can Turo it out of the game. Oh, never mind. We're going to Iono. We had to run hand, so I'm worried. Uh, I don't know why we Iono it. Because we could have just attacked with this Gardevoir for a couple of turns. At least one turn. Iono doesn't really find anything here. But we do have the refinement to draw. More Ultra Balls. Looks like, it feels like they're playing seven Ultra Balls. God dang. Bro, look at the gang, bro. Nice to see you, boys. There's an, there's the Gardevoir. I don't know if we attack with the Gardevoir, actually. I don't know if we ever attack with the Gardevoir. I want to keep the Gardevoir. I'm, I'm trying to go into... Uh, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the Regionals. The Pokemon Regionals in Indianapolis, so that I'm getting ready. So, we're going to be able to survive. I think we survive here for a turn. 
Yeah, we survive for a turn. Because Dodrio is not going to be able to do enough damage here. Unless he can get Dodrio to eight, nine counters in one turn, which is almost impossible. He needs three dump damage pumps. He can do it. He can only get one more Onyx. Got a Manaphy here. Not sure for what. Wait, does Manaphy stop the Scream Tail? I think Manaphy stops Scream Tail, that's true. Wait, the No, Scream Tail stopped by Jirachi. Ugh, I don't, I'm I'm confused. I don't even I don't even know. Alright guys, this game's almost done here. Let's see who's gonna be able to do take it. Who's gonna be able to take victory here? I think Jimmy. If he can KO this guard for EX this turn, he wins the game, basically. But the only way Jimmy can do that is he needs to find three or four pumps. He, he needs to find, two, two, like, literally three damage pumps. He has zero in hand. Yeah, that's the Iona. Alright, once we Iona, we, we have three more draws to find damage pumps. We need to find three damage bombs. It's just too much of an ask. Couldn't find any. Damn it. So Dodrio does not get to attack and KO this turn. But we do get to put a lot of damage. The problem is he gets to just jump the the deck, the, the, the card out of the... He basically jumps the guard Vor with the two rows. So this is going to be not cool. Ah, unfortunate here for Jimmy. Gets the attack in, but that's... What is that? 150. It's not going to be a lot. It's 150. Why is he doing much more than 150? What the hell? Okay, that's 180. 190, 200. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does do plus 10. Okay, so yeah, that is 160. Okay, we go ahead and every... That's big here. Oh, my God, we lose the Jirachi. Wow, this is huge. Alexander is getting some control here, guys. Because Jimmy wasn't able to get a KO last turn. Alexander's drawing... Uh, what does he need? What, what piece is he really looking for? There's really nothing. He's going to just go for the two row here. Is he looking for two row or does he have in hand? Okay, we're going to have to Iono. We're going to have to... Oh, if I, we can't Iono. So all he can do is retreat. Oh my god, he did not find the two row. This is very bad. Do we have one more refinement? We do have one more refinement. So he's going to retreat. But we need still two row. We need two row. Or we need Collapse Stadium. This is not enough. So Jimmy has a boss in hand. He can pull back the guard for EX. Get a KO there. Do KO to Dodrio. Jimmy is a little bit behind now. But Jimmy has the boss. If we can kill this guard for EX, uh, it's going to be a little bit... It's going to be huge, actually. It's going to be really nice. Gets us back ahead. Okay, so he artisans the Jirachi back, and then he uh, nest balls one of his Dodrios back. Let's go, Jimmy! It says Leaky. Let's go, baby. I think Jimmy's got this. This is crazy. Uh, Jimmy has the boss in hand. Be bosses the first card there. I'm gonna boss in the guard for EX. Get that KO. Okay, there's the steel onyx as well. Nice. I think it would have been better to just add one more Dodrio. Well, well, we do have another Dodrio actually. Never mind. The broken thing about this Dodrio is it literally uses any energy, it's colorless energy. There's this bossing in the guard for EX. And we're going to get the knockout. It's going to be huge here for Jimmy. Getting back ahead. This is actually getting close. Now it's better. Now it's looking better for Jimmy. He has another boss, I think, in hand. 
Looking much better here for Jimmy now because now he has enough damage counters on the Dodrio to do the work he wants to do. No, no, Alexander missed his opportunity to Turo and it was unfortunate because Turo stayed on the bottom of the deck. He needed to use an Ultra Ball to kind of shuffle the deck and he just never drew into the Turo. Now Jimmy's back in control. Let's see. Alexander is going to be forced to play another Gardevoir EX. That's going to really hurt. He doesn't have any energy anywhere except except on the screen tail. I mean, I guess we get a KO on the uh, screen tail here. We don't have to play Gardevoir. We don't really have to play Gardevoir EX this turn. But if we do play it, that's huge because that's really... J Jimmy with a luxurious cape and two damage pumps can win game if we do that. Alexander making a decision. We do have that collapse. Why would you collapse right now? Why would you even do that? Why didn't Why didn't you wait a little bit? He could have collapsed his own guard before he X in the turn. I don't think I don't think Jimmy would have bossed in the guard for EX. It would have just sat in the back. And I don't know. I guess you don't want a guard for EX. I guess you do want a guard for EX. Never mind. Now we're going to look for a Turo. There's one card left and that's Turo. Wow, this is really bad. Alexander's kind of struggling here. Kind of put himself in a ditch, actually. Just to kind of force Jimmy out of the game, he shoved himself in a corner. Put himself to four cards. This is really bad because if Jimmy gets a Dodrio here, you are in big trouble. Jimmy needs, gets one more draw. That's all he gets. Oh no. Before you draw, you're going to thin out your deck. Good idea. Let's pull out one more Dodrio. Or steal Onyx, I guess. Onyx, yeah. Cool. Killing the Screamtail is not enough. We need to KO. Actually, now we're actually really behind as Jimmy. So Jimmy is going to have to tie this set, looks like, because they're not going to be able to finish the third game. And I don't see Jimmy being able to KO the Guard of X next turn. I guess he could go into Steelix. Yeah, he does have the Steelix in hand. On board. He's going to go for Steelix, put some damage on his Dodrio, but that's not going to be enough either. Okay, Alexander gets to sit on a Gardevoir EX for two turns again. Really bad for Jimmy. This match is exciting. Yeah, what an interesting game, bro. It's actually interesting because Alexander can really shove himself. What happened was Alexander shoved himself in the corner, but it paid off with the Iono. It actually paid off heavy because Jimmy did not get anything. Jimmy had a bit boss order. Now he doesn't have it. So the guard for EX can stay safe. And J Alexander, I think, recognized that Jimmy doesn't have any way to redraw his hand besides the Dodrios. You know, you, you would really... Playing against Biberal, you don't want Iono like that. Doesn't uh, you know? You don't gain any value. But when you don't, when you don't see a Biberal and only Dodri one Dodrio left in the de in the board, good, good, uh, good catch there by Alexander to go for the Iono. Even though I think he had two row. But I mean, I'm sure he's confident he can get to two row anytime he wants to. At this point, the deck is just so small. Okay, there we are. We get one attachment and then two more. Could have just attached the the Luminion energy. No, never mind. Uh, I digress. None of my business. Alexander gets the KO here. Okay, Dodrio gets has has a way out. Goes in for the Steelix. Puts damage counters. 
The problem is he needs to get nine damage counters onto his Dodrio in one turn, and he can't do that. Especially if he doesn't even have a Dodrio. Oh my god, he just drew into it. That's crazy. That's insane. Well, not, now he can actually get some da damage counters on it. He has one more Dodrio. See, this is why you should have not have gotten an Onyx in your last turn. You should have gotten a freaking another Dodrio. Like a basic Dodrio. That, that hurt him. Because he had Artisan last turn. He could have gotten a Dodrio, but he didn't. Okay, so now Dodrio... Oh my god, Alex is getting... Okay, we need to K... Oh, okay, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy needs to get to... Well, Jimmy doesn't even need to get anywhere. Alexander needs to Turo the Gardevoir EX out of the game. Alexander needs to get Turo his Gardevoir EX out or he loses this game right now. He... No more Ionos! He can't even refine him anymore! I don't see... I, I don't see a Turo. Last refinement available. There's the Turo. Okay, he's saved. He's saved for one, one more turn. But my god, he doesn't have an Iono. He does not have an Iono, guys. Oh my god, he's literally saved for one more turn. But he does not have Iono. That means this is the last card in his deck. I don't see an Iono. I, I think he played every single one of his Ionos. Unless this, the last card is an Iono, he doesn't have any more Iono. So that's the last card in his deck. He needs to win in two turns. Picks up everything. Ditches out all the energy. Absolutely impressive. No Jimmy scoops. Because there's no more time. But I think Jimmy could have won because... I mean, Alexander had the super rod there. Yeah, Alexander was fine. Alexander was fine. Never mind. Alexander was fine. He wasn't going to deck up. Jimmy, recognize the... Uh, once you get that two row, I cannot win the game. His only win, win condition was to get that two prizer. And when you pull it out with the two row, that just wins you the game. Uh, you can't get it ahead. So, and he only had seven minutes. So, it makes sense why he jumped out. Opted to just stop wasting time because he doesn't want to tie. And I think he, they tie. I think they're going to tie no matter what here. Okay, let's see what we prized. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Just one Colorist, one Iono, one Professor's. Oh my god, we also prized our Jirachi though. That might be big. Starting the game. This is not as good as last turn for Jimmy. Oh no, I think Jimmy's having a bad turn here. Alex PB, PDH, to be honest, finishing a regional winning four best out of three with that kind of deck is nuts. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. I've never seen this deck before in my life. Just shows up. But what, what Jimmy wants is a Steelix on to attack turn one, and he doesn't have it. He didn't even get an Onyx on board. So right now, Jimmy's really behind, actually. So even though this is such an interesting deck, it's a really strong deck. It's a one-prizing deck. It's, a, it's an amazing idea of a deck. And it works really well, synergy, really well together. It does need to you to sequence it in a certain way, and uh, Jimmy just didn't pull it off this this game. Let's see how much it hurts him. Hopefully, if he gets, uh, I I don't know. I mean, Screamtail is on board, so that we don't need a lot of damage there to KO the Screamtail. Potentially, a damage pump can get us there. We'll see. Also, Jimmy might opt away from attacking turn one. Although I don't think he wants to, to be honest with you guys. He faces like a lost box and hardly cries. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's what I'm talking about. The lost box deck would be a bad matchup for him. <laughs> I would just... <laughs> I would try to like... Get rid of your Jirachi every single time. And then you would just be struggling, yeah, exactly, with the save lot. It's such an interesting deck, yeah. I love how fast Jimmy plays, you don't fuck around. Yeah, and Alexander, for some reason, is okay with a tie here. He's just shuffling for two day, two, two hours. Yeah, Jimmy here uh, looks like he did break. I think, uh, unfortunately, the, good, the nice thing for Jimmy is he doesn't have to lose. He could just tie. So he's done all the hard work here. So looking really rough here for Jimmy. Alexander is looking insane. 
Alexander is looking amazing. But wait a minute, Alexander is opting away from the Mirage step though. What the, well, why would you do that? Why would you fill up your board with a bunch of rolls? Don't you want a Mirage step? That's weird. They don't play Jirachi, do they? They actually play Jirachi, but he's in the prizes this game. <laughs> it's really a bad game for Jimmy. He actually prizes Jirachi. There is the Steelix. I guess the Iono got him his... Uh... Wait, why would you get a Steelix? Oh, because he got Great Ball. I was like, why the hell would you Ultra Ball a Steelix if you don't even have an Onyx? It's because he had the Great Ball. He got it with the Great Ball. He didn't get it with any other way. Then this deck kind of have a game into lost lost box. Yeah, 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 exactly. He does run the Jirachi, so yeah, you, you he does have a strong game. Um, yeah, if you go cram, attack the into the Onyx early, slow the Onyx down. That yeah, lost box will be fine. I think lost box is gonna be okay versus this deck. You just have so many options. Plus lost box. There's some Lost Box decks uh, that run uh, Iron Hands. I mean, this is this deck is open for Iron Hands for days. All the Dodrios are, all of them are weakness to Lightning. You just, you just literally just keep super riding your Iron Hands back. Any win game, super easy. It's actually a really bad matchup for Iron Hands. I don't, I don't even understand why this deck exists in this. <laughs> but this is Ultrecht. Ultrecht is EU. <laughs> EU are interesting people, to say the least. So we got the Mirage set, but we can't use it. The fudge? No, that's a refinement. Never mind. That's a refinement. Kerala. Oh, it looks so weird. Okay, Iono. Alexander's been really good at Ionoing his uh, Jimmy out of the game. And still, Jimmy's been really good. Able to find all the pieces looking for, to be honest. Jimmy was looking really rough. Now he's looking much better. We've got a couple of Dodrios on board. Onyx on board. We can retreat that Dodrio into the Onyx to do more damage. It just depends on if Alexander chooses to KO and start attacking this turn. Let's see what happens. Going second, they can't go for Mirage Step. Yeah, since this is a single prize battle, Guardi can get into behind for real since he can get a one hit KO. So this is what you do here. Yeah, this is a single prize battle. That's why Guardi loses. But the only way Guardi loses is if he leaves a Gardevoir EX. Like this is the only way Gardevoir loses is if, if Alex Jimmy gets two turns of attacking, attacking with Steelix and pumping up Two, two or three Dodrios. If he can pump up two or three Dodrios with two or three Steelix attacks, that's it. I, there's no way Alexander can win the game. He just cannot come back. There's just so much ahead, so much movement already. But uh, if Jimmy does not get to do that, then Alexander gets to keep Gardevoir EX for one turn on board and then tour it out. So that's what he did last turn. That's what he did last game. That's what made him win. Let's see. Jimmy's got exactly what he was looking for. Four Dodrios took three took three counters each. This is exactly what he was looking for. That's exactly what he needed. That's probably they want to find Candy EX Tier 2. Since this is a single prize battle, Gardi can get into behind for real. Since he can get... One hit KO into the EX. Yeah, but what happened was Jimmy wasn't able to get a one hit KO last turn, last game. And he lost the game because of that. So, somehow Alexander was able to keep the guard war safe, which is crazy. Now, Alexander is playing a little bit behind because he doesn't want to go into a guard war yet. Well, I guess he does. There it is. So, he gets to keep this guard war EX for a turn. Unless this Dodrio can get damage pumps on it, then we get some real damage onto it. We need nine counters. Wait, no, we need ten counters actually. Nine counters is not enough. 
that sucks so we have to luxury escape which is uh, very risky can't do that so we can get the KO on this Gardevoir so this is what I'm talking about when you play Gardevoir EX early you cannot get KOs on it because it's just we need two turns of Steelix attacks so what Jimmy needs to do is he needs to set up two, Ste two Onyx attack with Steelix turn one turn two attack with Steelix again and then go for the Dodrios. But because he wasn't able to do that, now Gardevoir EX stays on board. Unless we can find some damage pumps. But even then, we're opening, uh, we're susceptible to getting KO'd with Luxury Escape on us. Dodrio gets the draw. Escape Rope is nice. Escape rope is really nice actually here. Get one more draw. Do have the damage pump. Oh, I guess we played two Jirachis. Oh, no, no, we picked up the Jirachi from the prizes. That's really good. We got the K on the scream table. That's not good. Okay, well, actually, now we get one more turn. So now we actually can KO the Gardevoir. Yeah, they just tied. They tied. Yeah, they couldn't. Uh, it's just it'll never finish and makes sense. Yeah, they tie. Unfortunate, but they tie. Really interesting game, guys, but they tied. 